high 20s centigrade and there's the lineup for the first semi-final England and Scotland go in the second semi-final against Australia but here now Ron Pickering and considering it's only the first four that go through by right plus one from the two heats uh, it may be two of these that get dropped and without uh, disparaging them Bangladesh and Papua New Guinea may find this hard Jamaica drawn on the inside are a good squad Canada a well drilled squad uh, Nigeria with all their very very good new finds in their team and New Zealand chasing a national record of 40.22 which they should get despite uh, a brisk wind down the back straight in their faces that's John Mayer, the lead-off man for Jamaica, and he hands the great Ray Stewart. And that should put them in good stead at half, halfway, although Ray Stewart was a big disappointment uh, not making that final of the 100 metres. Clive Wright is their third man, Wayne Watson, and Jamaica, a somewhat depleted team in these games, it's sad to say. All their American college students uh, didn't come back. But there's Canada's squad, and they too have been depleted ever since Seoul, as you will all know but it's a new squad they're building up. Bangladesh, well, we've seen Choudhury uh, on the second leg. He's not a bad sprinter. So Shah Alam, Choudhury, Hussein, and Jalal Shah will have a tough job chasing this squad. And they're looking forward to this. Malik Guthrie, Gary Henley-Smith, Dale McClooney, who's been proved tremendously while he's got here, and Scott Bowden. They should crack that 40.22. Uh, that, uh, We've got the two Azinwa brothers running together in second and third legs and Tatengi to bring them home and Wanko uh, to take them off. So they, unless there's an accident of dropping the baton, uh, they should qualify. And delighted to see Papua New Guinea make this and what a cheer they're getting. Nearby neighbours, of course, really. Ezekiel Watovo, Hao, Mac and Tuna. Incidentally, the games record, 39-15 by Nigeria in 82, while well, the England squad are capable of doing that, that's for sure. Nigeria should be as well. So that could go even in this first heat. Sun shining brightly now, and I think the temperature rising. Fair bit of humidity, as we saw uh, in the walks this morning. Uh, but good news for Betty Skobrowski, who collapsed in that walk and is now fully recovered, just in case her parents are listening out. She's well and truly okay. Jamaica, Canada, Bangladesh, New Zealand, Nigeria, and Papua New Guinea. And it's Nigeria that's gone off well. Gone past Papua New Guinea already. The green of Nigeria on the outside. Good exchange on the inside lane from Jamaica. And Jamaica and Nigeria, the greens, have gone well but so is that New Zealand squad in the middle if they get safe exchanges well a new national record all oh, good exchange from Jamaica Ray Stewart to Clive Wright and still Nigeria the Nzinwa brothers have run well and they get the baton first no doubt about it Nigeria with Katengi and on the inside Jamaica's Wayne Watson they're one two Canada three New Zealand four as we suspected and that's how it goes Nigeria Jamaica, Canada, New Zealand. 39.22, the winning time. And I still think that New Zealand may be up on that 40.22. 39.22, just outside the game's record of 39.15. And they were easing down towards the line. And I think in the next heat, we'll see the English squad murder that time, really. They're a cracking squad. It looks as though it's going to be a good final. But if they get their exchanges right, it'll be a good one. Look for the two uh, teams in green vests. That's lane one and lane five. They're always pretty close. Good exchange on the first leg. Very high and hand goes back from Ray Stewart, and he makes good running in lane one for Jamaica, getting past Mike Dwyer of Canada. We're looking now at, the, uh, at one of the Enzima brothers, the first of them, who is uh, Davidson, and that's a, that's a big lead as Osmond takes them around the bend, and he'll hand to Tatengi, who was six in the hundred. That's Jamaica's exchange. Wayne Watson's got the baton safely from Clive Wright. And the two green-shirted teams come away. Wayne Watson may have felt that he was up, but Tatengi took it to the line. It's quite a big gap before the Canadians' Peter Ogilvie comes in. And then New Zealand's Scott Bowden. That's the one, two, three, four. They go through by Wright. 
the winning time 39.22. So the crowd settling down after that first semi-final. England and Scotland going in the second semi-final. But out of the warm-up track, the discussion goes on. And the news is that the two England doctors involved, Dr. Roy Axon and Dr. Trevor Greenwood, have both advised Coe not to run. But the decision is being left with Coe. 